All right, here in round one, I uh, started basically immediately after I submitted. Yeah, we're definitely on the play here. Um, not the ideal start, but I don't think I can mulligan uh, this hand. I got good mana base and enough removal to survive. Yeah, I mean, if I draw spells, I'll be good, because I can cast stuff. If, if not, I just want, need one more land for Falcon Marauders out of nowhere. So let's go ahead and play out a Blazing Torch. I'm not too scared of werewolves, because we have dead weight. Alright. So, uh, <laughs> that's a super slow start to our aggro deck, but I think we're still in good shape, because he's not casting anything either. Alright, no problem here uh, with the Disciple, and White's not going to be killing him, so let's go ahead and put the Blazing Torch on him. <laughs> Alright, so we got a blue-white deck. <clears throat> with the Armored Scott, okay. Murder of Crows, Makeshift Mar, and Gallows Warden. Oof. Good thing those are in the graveyard. Alright. Uh, yeah, definitely nothing to do here but pass the turn, and next turn we can just Falk Marauder it up. Might have been a bad keep. I mean, we're doing okay, but definitely we're not doing our ideal thing. Yeah, I'm probably just going to kill the Stitcher's Apprentice. <laughs> Don't want him to do any uh, tricks with uh, the Morbid. Alright, no Rebuke Mana up, so this guy gets in. And as does that guy. Ideally, I want him to play something like a just like a moon heron. That's fine too. Wow, he is greedy. Once again, he doesn't have any. Oh, bonds of faith. Okay, that does suck. And a late reckless waif, which is no good. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to remove this Web Spirit sooner or later, so let's go ahead and just dead weight it now and attack him for one. And at any time, I can sack my Marauders to gain four life. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is one of the two Bonds of Faith that I passed it, so. Or, sorry, that I passed. <clears throat> Bound to show up sometime. Alright, I draw another land. Oh, yeah, here I might as well just attack in with Moses Predator because I have nothing else to do. He was not afraid of the Geist Flame, which I do not have, so it ends that turn. I think uh, now we're basically just hoping to draw Army of the Damned. I guess Bumpin' Might's fine too. Um, yeah, I mean, might as well hold it back now, so... Uh, he doesn't know that we have it. Because if we cast Army of the Dam, we're winning anyway, and we won't ever need to cast Buff the Knight. But if we can get him down to ten, uh, 6 life, then we just cast it, flash it back, and win immediately. Here we go. Yeah, good thing I didn't sacrifice this Falcon Marauders to a Disciple. Because now I can do that. Uh, yeah, I don't care if my Predator flips, I just need to play a bunch of cards now, so...
And at least now I have a flyer, and if he, again, does nothing on his turn, I'll get two uh, Merciless Predators to attack with. I have no idea what's in his hand. I mean, he's been playing a bunch of land and not much else, which I guess is uh, also what I've been doing. Yeah, sensory Deprivation, sure. Here, okay. Yeah, I think this turn I just want my uh, Reckless Waste to flip. Uh, Interloper is a flying creature, but once I have a 3 2, a 3 2, and a 3 1, yeah, actually, no, it's, it's much safer to play the flyer. Because then that'll force him to leave Moon Heron back, I think. Especially because uh, if I attack with, I can't really attack with Patrician into Scob. And there's always a chance that he'll play nothing on his turn either. Because uh, from his plays, he might actually just have like two lands. And if he drew like another land, that means he'll have nothing. Another Bonds of Faith. Yep. It kind of sucks here because my last removal spell, Victim of the Night, can't actually kill the Armored Scob. But this can. Uh... Let's see. The thing is, though, I don't have. Yeah, I don't have flyers to block the Moon Heron, so if I use the minus two ability, um, he'll well, then he'll have to debate between sacrificing the Scob or the Moon Heron. That's actually pretty good because if if he sacrifices the Scob, he won't be able to block. If he sacrifices the Moon Heron, he won't be able to kill my Liliana. So maybe that is yeah. I think I play her here. Go ahead and just use it as a removal spell, really. Yep, so he's going to try to kill her, but I get a bunch of attacks. We'll see if he has a... All right. All right, Liliana is dying. Alright, Misha Mahler, it is. Let's see, if we attack in, he'll block. He'll take three. Yeah, not, not enough to kill him yet. Let's see, and this is six, seven, so I actually have enough mana to do the bump in night. Alright, so here we're just going to pass and flip our Reckless Waifs, and then we'll Victim of Night the Moon Heron. Or uh, actually, if he attacks in with the Moon Heron, we'll take it, because uh, we might want a Victim of Night any blocker that he plays. Oh wait, sorry, I have to put Trigger Ability on this deck. <laughs> sorry, I haven't played Mortal for quite a while. <laughs> Alright, so this should be the end. Yep, I'm gonna go all in here.
most likely just going to uh, block the Murkrow Patrician. And he might have a rebuke for this, but as long as I get him 4 damage, I'll be able to cast him off in the night. So. And this is why uh, you do that. Yep, so... Managed to pull out that super, super slow game. Uh, seems like he's just a, a simple blue-white mid-range deck. Might want uh, Night Terrors, I guess. Let's see. Definitely not Saudi and Scourge. Um, Victim of Night is still good against his uh, spirits. Pretty sure he has some humans in there somewhere. Yeah, I'm not sure what to remove for uh, Night Terrors. Well, I think uh, I like our deck. I mean, we could always remove Army of the Damned and go all in on uh, our aggro strategy. Which I think might be good because uh, his deck is. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I mean, Army of the Dam is a great backup plan, though. Eight mana to win. Though Night Terrors will actually help us a lot more because uh, we'll be able to look in his hand and remove any, like, pesky six, you know, like, Scab Goliaths that he has. Yeah, let's, let's go on, on an aggro. Let's see what that does. Alright, I unfortunately cannot keep this hand, so I'll mulligan this, and I'll mulligan this. And I will not mulligan. It's actually, uh, even though we mulled a 5, this is actually not the worst mulled a 5 ever. Of course, now we don't have any swamps, but if he doesn't cast anything, we'll have a Rex Waif, and okay. All right, a zero two merciless predator. All right, see what he mills. Bonds of faith, force of spirit. Sure. All right. At least we drew our black. Ideally, he plays nothing, and then we draw a swamp. Or, I guess I'm not the Reckless Waif. Um, yep, so Waif goes down. And watch this. Yep, I'm not attacking with Patrician here. Sure. Well, we need one more land for that. Uh, yep, so I guess we'll flip our waif. And this isn't the worst mode of five ever, I guess, but definitely would have liked two more cards. Attacking for three, sure. Actually, wouldn't mind drawing a, a Blazing Torch either, because uh, even though it'll be a two for one, I'll at least get rid of that Scob. Well, looks like he's curving out this game. With the Murder of Crows. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not going to run my Falcon off Marauder into that, so just have to pass the turn. Looking pretty bad for us. Inherent. Well, now we have our second black. Couple of choices. Yeah, he just has so many flyers, so I will be able to remove one of his creatures. 
which I think I simply just have to do to survive. So I'll play Liliana. If he's greedy, uh, he'll sacrifice that. And then I'll attack in with these two. He'll probably kill the patrician. I'll go back up to 13. Feeling of red. Okay, that works too. Four, three, yep, that's game. Yeah, a little bit unfortunate. Never want to see a mold of five. So, yeah, let's go ahead and try that again. Yeah, like I said, uh, during the drafting, the one weakness of this deck is simply uh, not enough removal. I mean, I'm still, obviously, I'm still happy I got a Liliana, because that pays for uh, like two drafts and a half, I think, still. All right, uh, yeah, definitely a keepable hand. Not ideal. Uh, I would like it to be red, black, black, and then one more spell, but double Reckless Waif on the play, pretty good. I don't think I've seen any one drops on him either. Oh yeah, and then we drew a swamp. Now hopefully we draw nothing but spells. So but actually Liliana's gonna be good now because I can start just discarding random mountains that I don't need. Get Liliana down and start pumping her up. Mortar of Crows. I guess he's going to be playing a Stitched Drake. Hmm, yeah, I guess not. Stitcher's of Prince. Weird. <laughs> uh, yet another Reckless Waif. Um... So he's obviously going to top down my Merciless Predator. I could do this before combat. Nah, that wouldn't do anything. Could make him discard another card, because I'm not actually sure I want another Reckless Waif. <laughs> yeah, I'll go ahead and let him top down a Predator. Here I'll play a waif and then force him to sack a creature. This way I can actually uh, protect my Liliana a little bit further. Uh, I have no problems double blocking uh, with waif and exchanging one waif for a priest. Makeshift Mahler, probably. Moon Heron, okay. Yeah, I think at this point I'm just fine uh, forcing him to uh, 
sacrifice yet another creature. Actually has a pretty hard choice here, okay. Alright, and here I, I definitely want all of my waves to flit. So I'll hold back the vampire in a little bit for now. Yeah, this game is definitely where I want to be. Um, so no matter what he plays, I'll also have a Traitor's Blood. Alright, and he's tapped out. Hopefully just another 1-2 like, dude. Wouldn't even mind a Bonds of Faith either. Because depending on what he plays, I might just actually just trade his blood to Moon Heron and then just attack with everything. That'll bring him down to two, and he'll lose his uh, blocker. Sure. So now I have a 3 3 Reckless Wave. You know what? First, I'm going to attack him with this and see if he's willing to sacrifice his Moon Heron. And he's not playing risky there. Um, yeah, I definitely want to play the Vampire Interval for two I just want to go all out offense. Can't wait for the Watch Keep to flip. Yeah, I don't think he meant to uh, Bonds of Faith and flip these Predators. Alright, and now they all flip back. Good. Alright, I have a feeling he has a feeling of dread here, but uh, even if he does... Yeah, Traitor's Blood... Because if I play Traitor's Blood now and he has feeling of dread, he can nullify all damage. But uh, if he has feeling of dread, he'll let one through. Yeah, I, I guess there's no real reason to uh, go all in right now. I'm in a superior position. I'm pretty sure he has it. Yep. <laughs> Is he going to flash it back immediately? All right. Alright, took care of that, so let's go ahead and play our Hanweir Watch Keep. <laughs> I get back a 3 3, I can attack. Okay. Now I have a giant 3 7 blocker. And Bonds of Faith is only half effective versus uh, werewolves. Some hard thinking here. 
Alright, couple options here. I think here I actually do want to trade us love this, because this what this will do is that he might get scared and sacrifice it. And if he doesn't, he'll be taking at least five. And yeah, and then he'll lose a citrus prince. So yeah, now is the time to trade his blood. And if he sacrifices it and I draw a land next turn, uh, I have Falcon Rotter in the air. Yep, so he doesn't want to take the damage. And now, see, I should I attack with my Reckless Waves? He'll block one, but I'll get three, four, five, six. And then, yeah, and then my Flying Interlope goes in for the win. Seems good. Yeah. Alright, so now I have a bunch of win conditions. Uh, one, he doesn't play a flyer. Two, I draw buff the knight. Three, I draw land. Play some torch, sure. It's been long. Looks like my interloper is dying. Which is fine, because now he can't use a torch on the Marauders. Alright. Yep, so it's fling and then probably do the sacrifice thing. to play oops, a noble and a patrician. I still have about like 10 outs Well, he doesn't have much. Oh, that's a pretty good uh, out. But I drew Bump of the Night. Man, that's game. Alright, so red black got there, and I'll see you guys in uh, round two.